Hey guys, how's it going? Coach James here. So for this first part of the workout, it's all about mobilizing the shoulders and warming them up for today's workout. So we have three rounds. We're going to start with a kettlebell arm bar. So it's really good for shoulder stability. So what I'm going to do is I'm almost going to set up like I'm going to do a Turkish get up. So I'm going to start here with the arm nice and locked out, except I'm going to go leg straight. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this leg over to go onto my right shoulder. So uh, same hand as the weight, that same leg's going over. You're gonna rest your ear on your shoulder and you're gonna come all the way back in again, and nice and flat. So I'm bringing that leg over. I'm gonna make sure my grip stays tight on the kettlebell. I have to stabilize through this movement and then I'm gonna bring it all the way back around. This opposite hand is just pushing into the floor. Again, resting that ear into the shoulder, getting some good upper back rotation, and again, shoulder stability as well. So we're gonna go eight per side on that one. Once we're done with that, we're gonna go with a pike push-up. Okay, so we have eight of these as well. Just gonna go down and then push straight back. Now, eight is a small number, but again, this is just a warm-up before we get into the next piece of the workout. So it's not meant to fatigue you, it's meant to warm you up. So we're gonna go eight pike push-ups. Again, really focus on that arms reaching through the floor. Again, if you need to go off the knees for the push-up into that down dog position, that's totally fine. We're just trying to work that overhead motion, okay? Next one, we have our kettlebell dead bug pullover. So again, we're still working that overhead position, just loosening up those lats. So you're reaching first, and then I'm gonna extend the belt out. Handle should almost touch the ground. The real goal on this one is to really keep those arms from bending. So arms have to stay straight so we can get into that overhead position. We're just gonna alternate back and forth. You have eight per side, total of 16 reps. Okay, last one, we're gonna go with the elevated bird dog. So we're gonna start pretty much in that quadruped position or bear crawl position. We're gonna lift up. Now it's opposite arm, opposite leg, you're gonna extend as far as you can to opposite ends of the room, okay? So we're gonna be here for eight per side, total of 16 reps on that one. And we're gonna hit three rounds of that. 